everyone, Mimi Kins here. Today's video is all about the Universal Studios Japan crossover event, also known as USJ. There is another crossover of this event for high rank which you will need to farm as well if you haven't already to upgrade some of the items. I'll let you know everything that you need to upgrade your items to the master rank version and where to get all the new items as well. The first master rank quest is USJ Ballet of Frost. This is a fight against a Frostfang Barriath. This monster has only been available at the time of making this video through event quests and has slightly different attacks compared to the original Barriath. He has more frost attacks and can make frost pillars of ice similar to Volcana. This quest drops large Azure Era gems. One drops 100% of the time but I've had as many as 4 from a single quest. You can create the Azure Age set. This set is good for making critical element builds. The set bonus is Silver Rathalos Essence, meaning it can actually be used with the Silver Rathalos set to achieve the set bonus of True Critical Element. So you can have 3 pieces of this armour and 1 piece of Silver Rathalos and still get the bonus. So there is a bit more flexibility when making elemental builds. You can also use the gems to craft the Azure Age Laird armour. This set actually comes with the extra swords on the hip, which is just for decoration and is visible on any weapon type. The dual blades on the back are my weapons. Dee would also like to let your palico know about some of the latest fashion available in the new world. This palico outfit was available before but only had a low rank version, so it's nice to see it having a master rank upgrade. It also requires Azura Star Shards, which can be obtained from the high rank quest Gold Star Treatment. You can also get the Azure Dragon Dance Plus Master Rank Longsword. This weapon is upgraded from previous high rank USJ quests, so if you want the materials to farm the base longsword, you will need Azure Star Shards from the high rank quest USJ Gold Star Treatment. Then you will need Azure Star Gems from the high rank quest USJ Blazing Azure Stars until you can finally get the Master Rank version using the large Azura Era gems from this quest. You can also get this as a layered weapon skin, but it can only be applied to Master Rank weapons through the Augment menu at the smithy. You can also upgrade the Azura Era Soaring Dragon Bow Plus to its final stage. I will cover where to get the Laird Weapon skin and the base weapon shortly. The second Master Rank event quest is USJ Shine On Forever against a Vulcana in the Supply Cache Arena. This drops Azure Era seals, one is dropped 100% of the time but I've had 5 from the same mission. You can craft the base weapon for the Azure Era Soaring Dragon Plus bow, which is the bow I mentioned earlier. To craft this as a layered weapon design, you'll need both Azure Era seals from this quest, along with large Azure Era gems from the previous quest, a Ballet of Frost. Azure Era Wind Chime Pendant for your weapon. The Azure Era set for your Palico, it does have higher stats than the previous Palico set, but Dee only ever looks at style when picking her outfit, so I ended up farming everything for her anyway. The Azure Star Lord Laird armor, this is listed under high rank at the smithy for crafting. You'll only need the seals along with materials found in the game at any time. On top of all this, you can also unlock a new guild card background and pose. You can admire the fireworks with your faithful Palco. If you haven't already done the high rank ones before, you will also lock an additional one from those quests as well. I hope this helps you get everything that you want from the event while it's up. So just to summarize, 4 event quests, 2 returning high rank ones, USJ Gold Star Treatment dropping Azure Star Shards, Blazing Azure Stars dropping Azure Star Gems, Two new Master Rank events, USJ Ballet of Frost dropping large Azura Era gems, USJ Shine On Forever dropping Azura Era seals. Thanks for watching, please support the channel by liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.